Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given this semicircle. Inscribed in this semicircle are two right triangles. The area of the green right triangle is 7 square units and the area of the pink right triangle is 28 square units. We want to find the area of the semicircle. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math problem. And if you already know the answer to this problem, please write them in our comment section. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by recalling the formula for the area of a triangle. Area is equal to one half times the base times the height. So in these triangles, we would like to identify what is the base and the height. So let H be the common height and let B sub 1 be the base of the green triangle and B sub 2 be the base of the pink right triangle. Then let's substitute these variables to this formula for the area of a triangle. So for the green triangle, the area is 7. We copy the 1 half. The base is B sub 1 and the height is H. We will do the same for the pink right triangle. Now, let's concentrate first on this green triangle and let's solve for the height. So solving for H, we multiply by 2 over B sub 1, both sides of the equation, so that 2 times 1 half is 1. B sub 1 over B sub 1 is also 1. What is left at the right side of the equation is H. And at the left side, we have 2 times 7 equals 14, and we copy the denominator B sub 1. Then, let's concentrate now on the area of the pink right triangle. Again, let's solve this for H. We can accomplish that by multiplying both sides of the equation by 2 over B sub 2. So 2 times 1 half is 1. B sub 2 here divided by B sub 2 here is also 1. So the right side is simplified as H. And the left side is 2 times 28 equals 56. And we copy the denominator B sub 2. Notice that you have here H and you have here H. This means that 14 over B sub 1 must also be equal to 56 over B sub 2 because quantities that are equal to equal quantities are also equal. Then from here, we can modify this form so that we can get the ratio of B sub 2 over B sub 1 this way. So we multiply both sides by B sub 2 over 14. The objective is we want to eliminate this 14. So 14 divided by 14 is 1. And so the left side is B sub 2 over B sub 1. And the right side is simplified as 56 over 14, which can be simplified further as 4. So the ratio of this B sub 2 to B sub 1 is 4 is to 1. Now, if you let the leg of this green right triangle to be x, then the length of this leg of the pink right triangle is represented as 4x because the ratio of these two legs is 4 is to 1. Four parts here and one part here. Now, remember, our objective here is to find the area of this semicircle. So we need to find what is the radius. Let us first complete this circle here. And let's extend this side going this way. By the symmetric property of a circle, knowing that this segment here is a diameter, then if this length here is h, this extended side must also be h. These two are equal. Then let's recall the intersecting chords theorem. The theorem says that when you have these two intersecting chords, the first chord is subdivided into segment A and segment B. The second one, the second one is composed of two segments, segment C and segment D. Then this intersecting chords theorem states that the product of A times B is equal to the product of C times D. Applying that in our figure, the product of H and H is H squared. That is equal to the product of X and 4X. And so we now have this equation. X times 4X is 4X squared, so we can simplify it further as 4X squared. Then, simplifying further, get the square root of both sides to get H to be equal to 2X. This means that this height here must be equal to 2x. Now let's go back to our semicircle. So we now know that this common height of these two triangles is 2x, so let's replace this h by 2x. And we can now use these variables. We can go back to the formula for the area of a triangle. So the area is 7, that is equal to 1 half, times b sub 1, which is equal to x, 
and our height is 2x, then 1 half times 2 is 1, so the right side becomes x squared. Solving for x, get the square root of both sides to get x equals square root of 7. This means that this x is equal to square root of 7, and this 4x is equal to 4 square root of 7. Adding these two bases, that is equal to 5 square root of 7, which is now the measure of the diameter of this semicircle. Let's recall that what you want to find here is the area of the semicircle. Knowing that the diameter is 5 squared of 7, that implies that the radius is 1 half of this. Now the formula for the area of a circle is area of a circle equals pi times the radius squared, where the radius is 5 over 2 squared of 7, or 5 squared of 7 over 2. Whatever results we get here, that is the area of the circle. And so, we will divide it by 2 to get the area of the semicircle. But let's simplify this first. So the square of 5 is 25. The square of the square root of 7 is 7. So we have 25 times 7. Square of 2 is 4. All the rest are copied. And then this is equal to 175 over 4 pi. This is the area of the circle. We want the area of the semicircle. So we have to divide this by 2. So dividing 175 over 4 pi by 2, we arrive at 175 over 8 pi in decimal that is approximately equal to 68.72 square units. And this is now our final answer. The area of the semicircle is approximately equal to 68.72 square units.